We're everything. in the middle of a two-day investor conference here in New York, over 800 investors. And when we asked the executives of the companies that were presenting, companies like Priceline and Expedia, what the impact of the pres uh, of a Trump administration would be on their business, the responses were, uh, we we'll probably see no impact on our core business in terms of demand, probably a more benevolent corporate tax environment, uh, regulatory environment from a Republican Congress and from a Republican president. And in third, the ability for uh, cash uh, repatriation holiday. Uh, that would actually be very beneficial for some of these companies. I mean, you look at Facebook and Google, Priceline, these companies have, you know, 60, 80 billion in cash overseas. To the extent that they can bring it back efficiently, tax efficiently, it's a benefit for those companies and for uh, shareholders. But would they bring it back? Because now so many of their customers are overseas. I mean, most of these companies don't operate in China. Some would like to, but isn't there a certain benefit to at least leaving a lot of it overseas where their customers are? Uh, sure, or where some of their operations are, but these are now, uh, this sector has changed, and we now have people, companies in here that are paying dividends and using cash to buy back stock. Google is doing this for the first time, and, uh, you know, they started doing this a year ago. So the effect that they, that they have 60 to 70 percent of their cash overseas, and somebody's giving them the ability to bring it back tax efficiently and use it for share repurchases, they'll do it. It's a benefit. Uh, that's a particularly uh, interesting, positive development from the election result. What about China? Is China even possible for Facebook and Netflix to get into with the rhetoric against China that we now have? Well, I don't think it was possible for them to get into it before, so I'm not sure that's changed that much. <laughs> None of these companies, with maybe the exception of Priceline, have had much success in China, particularly the media companies. And that's not due to our policies. Those, that's due to the you Chinese You know, we had policies. Neil Ferguson on the other day on Power Lunch, and he had been in China, and uh, he didn't like Trump, even though he's a conservative. But he, he admitted the Chinese like Trump. And the Chinese like Trump a lot. They hated Hillary Clinton. Um, and so they were actually excited about the possibility that Trump could he's be president. But, but to, to, so you have a conference the whole day. Yeah. Nobody asks about Trump. So, so they're not worried about tariffs or anything like that. They just think that's campaign talk and rhetoric at this point. Because if he were to commit to forcing Apple to produce their phones here, that would be absolutely problematic for those companies. But nobody asked about that. We didn't have Apple at the conference. This was just a technology and media uh, conference. Um, that said, no, I didn't hear. I thought it was very interesting. There was almost no discussion of the impact of a Trump candidate, uh, Trump presidency. And he'd already won at this point. Yes, yes, okay. yes. This is uh, yesterday and today. Uh, it's not, it doesn't seem to be an issue for investors. But, but you, it doesn't you, affect the underlying demand for these but companies. But you viewed it, I said, at the very least, you would think some people might think it's neutral even if his pro-growth policies, if they don't like those, at least they think it might not be bad. And you said you actually think it is positive, a lot of, uh, for, for the backdrop. Uh, these are businesses, and they're going to find probably a more mm -hmm. business-friendly uh, uh, tax environment, regulatory environment. I, you know, I think that was a pretty clear read from these companies. But they depend on engagement and advertising, which is far greater during an election season than it is normally. I mean, doesn't that ultimately taper off? Yeah, you know, the, um, uh, so we had uh, 10 surprises at the beginning of this year, and one of them was uh, we thought that this election would be determined online. And uh, ironically, it may have been, not in the way we thought it was, because of some of the tweets uh, and the, uh, the, mm -hmm. the, the, the positive responses that uh, Trump got, uh, President Trump got to those, uh, President-elect Trump uh, got to some of those. Um, yeah. I don't think there was a major cresting of ad dollars online this cycle. I thought there were, we were going to see it. We didn't see it.